हेलो नाइन्थ क्लास स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू द अनदर शॉर्ट स्टोरी दैट इज हार्ट्स एंड हैंड्स पेज नंबर सिक्सटी नाइन सो लेट स्टार्ट एट डेनवर देर वॉज एन फ्लक्स ऑफ पैसेंजर्स इन टू द कोचेज ऑन द ईस्ट बाउंड बी एंड एम एक्सप्रेस इन फ्लक्स हेयर मीन्स ग्रुप ऑफ पैसेंजर्स एट डेनवर नेम ऑफ द प्लेस देर वर ग्रुप ऑफ पैसेंजर्स वेटिंग फॉर बी एंड एम एक्सप्रेस In one coach there sat a very pretty young woman dressed in elegant taste and surrounded by all the luxurious comforts of an experienced traveler so na- the name of the coach was b and m there were group of passengers in the coaches that means the coaches of that express and in one of those co- coaches there were there was a pretty young woman very beautiful woman dressed in a very beautiful style and taste surrounded with luxurious comforts means there were many thing luxurious things with her that means the lady was very rich and beautiful among the newcomers were two young men one of handsome presence with bold and frank countenance countenance here means uh, expression or a frank face bold frank face or frank expression two new passengers entered into the into the same coach one of them had a very frank face uh, expression or bold face and was very handsome and when the other are ruffled glum faced person heavily built and roughly dressed but the other man other man was glum faced he was fat or roughly dressed he was not a handsome like the other the two were handcuffed together handcuffed together they were handcuffed with each other they were linked with each other as they passed down the aisle of the coach the only vacant seat offered was the reserved one facing the attractive young woman when they entered aisle here means the passage they crossed and reached to the seat which was vacant and that seat was just opposite to the beautiful woman here the linked couple seated themselves they both sat there linked is used because they both were handcuffed the young woman face glance fell upon them with a distant swift disinterest fell upon them means she looked at them distance means not clearly with the disinterest then with a lovely smile brightening her countenance and a tender pink tightening her round cheek then suddenly she looked at them she first was a disinterest then she uh, there was a smile on her face there was a smiling expression she with the on her pink pink and beautiful cheeks and then she held out a little grey gloved hand she took her hand out from the grey gloves when she spoke her voice full sweet and deliberate proclaimed that its toner was accustomed to speak to be heard her voice was very sweet her uh, sound of voice sound of her voice was very polite even the owner who is going to listen her felt that he is very privileged well mr easton if you will make me speak first i suppose i must she recognized one of the person who was the smart and handsome his name was mr easton so she said ke if you want if you did not recognize me or if you want me to speak first or recognize you first then i should don't you ever recognize old friends when you meet them in the west west means other part of the country maybe they were friends when they were in the other part of the country now they again met in the west side so she said ke don't you recognize your friends when you met them in the west the younger man roused himself sharply at the sound that means he rose her head oh sorry his head and looked at her seemed to struggle with the slight embarrassment which he threw off instantly and then clasped her fingers with her, his left hand first he felt little bit embarrassment but then he left that embarrassment and shook his hand with his left hand not with right hand it's miss fair child he said with a smile i will ask you to excuse the other hand it is otherwise engaged just as present when he shook hand 
his uh, when he shook his left hand with her he said that he is feeling sorry because his right hand is busy at present so he, she should forgive him for shaking his left hand with her so why he was going to shake his left hand his right hand was busy why his right hand was busy because it was handcuffed with the other glum faced man he slightly raised his hand bound at the wrist by the shining bracelet to the left one of his companion so he showed his hand that his right hand was handcuffed with the another person that is companion another person glum faced man the glad look in the girl's eyes slowly changed into the bewildered horror means her expression happy expression was suddenly changed into the horror or the sad expression the glow faded from her cheeks there were no pink uh, color or the red color on her cheeks her lips parted in way way means surprise or confusion Relax, relaxing distress she was not able to speak something she was confused eastern with a little laugh as, laugh as if amused was about to speak again when other forestalled him forestall means interfered him stopped him from speaking he in he just laughed a little bit with embarrassment and was about to speak when the another person that is the glum faced man interfered or stopped him to speak the glum faced man had been watching the girl's countenance with veil glance from his keen shrewd eyes when they entered and sat on the seats when they, that beautiful girl started talking to mr easton he was continuously looking at them he was listening their conversation he was looking at them veil glances means not directly with hidden eyes he was looking at them you will excuse me for speaking miss but i see you are acquainted with the marshal here so what did he say glum fed man interfered and said ki you will excuse me miss fairchild but i think you are acquainted here means you are known to each other i think you know the marshal mr easton so here glum fed man said that i think you know the another person who is handcuffed with me that is mr easton i think you know him very much if you will ask him to speak a word for me when we get to the pen he will do it and it will make things easier for me there he said if you will ask something from my side please request him something from my side he will write and when we will reach there where we are going definitely he will follow your request he is taking me to levensworth prison it's a seven year of counterfeiting he said that mr easton who is a smart and handsome man he is taking me to the levensworth prison it is the name of the place and it was a seven years of counterfeiting there was a crime which was committed seven years and for seven, for seven years police or the marshal had been chasing that uh, criminal so that is why he said it is a seven year of the crime and today he is going to take me to the levenworth levenworth prison oh said the girl with a deep breath and returning color so that is what you are doing out here a marshal so again she started talking to mr easton uh, with the relaxing voice uh, because she had known that now mr easton is the marshal